visit us on the web at nilfiskyou.com. Nilfisk University is the cleaning equipment industry's most comprehensive web-based training and interactive learning resource. Your degree in success is just a click away at Nilfisk University. Welcome to Nilfisk University, where excellence is attained through active learning. This module provides use and care training for the Advanced Advolution 2710 Rider Burnisher Platform. This course is not intended to replace the operator's manual that ships with the machine. Please read, understand, and follow all safety and operating instructions in the operator manual. Doing so will ensure years of safe operation and optimum performance from the machine. By successfully completing this training module, you will be able to describe what items should be inspected before operating the machine, describe the goal of the burnishing process, describe how to change the burnishing pad, explain the steps necessary to transport the machine, explain the steps necessary to start the burnishing system, describe how to change the burnishing pressure setting, explain the steps to tilt the steering wheel and adjust the seat location, List daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly maintenance items. Describe how to effectively burnish with this machine. Let's start out with what is the goal of burnishing, which is to provide a beautiful shiny floor with great light reflective properties. Sometimes described as looking wet since it is so smooth and shiny. How does burnishing work? It uses a quickly rotating pad along with down pressure that modifies the surface of the floor finish by sanding away the high points in the finish and in some cases, depending on the floor finish or if spray buffing is used, fills in the low points to leave a mirror smooth surface of protected finish that is highly reflective and uniform. Burnishing only works well when a floor is in good enough condition to be burnished. First, the floor should be scrubbed to remove all surface debris and there must be enough floor finish left and not damaged enough to allow the burnishing process to pop the floor finish back to a high shine. Before burnishing with the Advolution 2710, the machine must be properly prepared for use. If the Advolution 2710 was properly stored, as will be covered later in this training, you should find the machine at the beginning of the shift in the following manner. Machine parked with the seat propped up and the battery charger plugged into the machine. To prepare for daily cleaning, begin by disconnecting the battery charger. Your machine will either have a shelf charger system or an onboard charger. For onboard chargers, disconnect the power plug from the outlet and slide the excess cord into the rotomolded frame for storage. For shelf chargers, disconnect the cord coming from the charger to the batteries and reconnect the machine power cord to the batteries. Lower the seat after completing the above tasks. Burnishing should only be done with a burnishing pad that is in good condition, so before starting you need to inspect the burnishing pad. Lift up the deck into the locked position for easy inspection by turning off the machine and disconnecting the battery for safety. Lift the burnishing deck until it locks into the raised position with the deck latch. The lock mechanism is located on the right front side of the machine. Inspect the burnishing pad. Turn over or replace if the pad is heavily loaded with floor finish that has been removed or if the pad is damaged, thin, or stretched. Release deck to operational position after pad inspection. Burnishing pad replacement. With a deck raised into the inspection position, twist to remove the locking mechanism in the center of the pad. It is a left-handed thread, so turns clockwise to remove. Remove and flip the pad over or throw away pad and replace with a new 27 inch pad appropriate for the application and floor finish type being used. Reinstall the locking mechanism by turning counterclockwise. Turn it until you hear it click to be sure it is tight enough. Release burnishing head to the operational position. Do not use the machine without a dust bag in place or the optional active dust control system installed since the floor finish dust from the burnishing will be released into the air without one of these systems in place. Verify dust collection bag is installed. The bag is located on the top of the burnishing deck and towards the rear of the machine as shown in the image and indicated by the arrow. If the dust collection bag is over one third full, replace with a new bag. There is a convenient replacement storage bag location right on the machine. 
We thought of everything. Sit on the seat and adjust the tilt steering wheel to a comfortable position. Adjust the seat forward or backward position if needed. Tools are required for this operation. Loosen the indicated bolts to allow seat to be adjusted. You are now ready to transport the machine to the area to be burnished. Turn on the machine using the key. Verify that the machine has enough battery power to complete the planned burnishing tasks using the control panel battery gauge. If fully charged, the indicator should be green. In this instance, the battery indicator is yellow, so the unit should be charged before using. Motion is controlled by the motion control pedal. To move the machine, use the bidirectional foot pedal to propel the machine. Depress the foot pedal forward to go forward and backward to go backward. The foot pedal is fully variable, meaning that just like a car, the farther you depress the pedal, the faster the machine will travel in either direction. Activating the burnishing system. The Advolution 2710 is incredibly easy to use with its one-touch activation of the burnishing system. Pressing the green burnishing button will lower the burnishing head to the floor and sets the burnishing system to active. Once you press the motion control pedal, the burnishing system will activate and turn off again when motion stops. When finished burnishing, hit the green button again to turn off burnishing system and raise the head from the floor. Other buttons on the control panel include the horn and the hour meter display. Once underway, if you feel the machine is burnishing too aggressively or not aggressively enough, you can adjust the burnishing down pressure. There are three burnisher pressure settings, with one being the lightest and three being the strongest. To adjust the set burnisher pressure, turn the key to the off position. Hold down the green burnishing button and turn on the machine again. This will put the machine into the burnishing pressure adjustment mode. The word adjust will appear on the hour meter display instead of the hours on the machine. Pressing the green activation button repeatedly will cycle through the pressure settings available. Turn the key off to lock in the setting you would like to use. Effective burnishing. To gain the most productivity out of your Advolution 2710, you should plan an effective route for the area to be burnished. Running the full length of the room or hall will help reduce the amount of turning maneuvers necessary and make you more efficient. Burnish at a consistent speed and keep a consistent overlap for a consistent shine. Do not stop while burnishing, since that can leave a ring on the floor. If you are ready to stop burnishing, Keep moving and turn off the burnishing system by hitting the deactivation button, and only stop once the head has lifted off the floor. Eventually, the area to be burnished will be completed so you can prepare the machine for work the next day, or the battery will become depleted and go from green to yellow on the battery gauge indicator on the control panel. As the battery gets low, with the indicator going to yellow, the burnishing head will turn off, but the transport mode will still be functioning so that you can transport back to the storage and charging location. Storing the machine. Transport the machine back to the storage and charging location. Inspect the burnisher pad. Flip over or replace as needed. Open the seat compartment and prop it open. Connect the battery charger cord into the battery connector to charge the battery for the next person who needs to use it. It's a good idea to take a wet rag and clean off the exterior of the machine to keep it good looking and clean. After charging, the machine should be ready for the next shift of burnishing. Recommended maintenance items. The below chart is from the operator's manual. Take a moment to review the daily, weekly, monthly and yearly recommended maintenance items. This will help keep your machine investment performing at its maximum ability.
By successfully completing this training module, you should now be able to describe what items should be inspected before operating the machine, describe the goal of the burnishing process, describe how to change the burnishing pad, explain the steps necessary to transport the machine, explain the steps necessary to start the burnishing system, describe how to change the burnishing pressure setting, explain these steps to tilt the steering wheel and adjust seat location, list daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly maintenance items, and describe how to effectively burnish with this machine. This concludes the training portion of this module. Visit us on the web at nilfiskyou.com. Nilfisk University is the cleaning equipment industry's most comprehensive web-based training and interactive learning resource. Your degree in success is just a click away at Nilfisk University.